following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, and Metal Gear Rising are all owned by Konami and Hideo Kojima. Please support the official release. This is Snake. I've arrived at Out of Heaven. Excellent, Snake. Now we can begin Operations Intrude in 31-3. Wait, Operation what? Sounds a little complicated. How about something snappy like Snake Eater or Chaos Theory? Quit your whining. Intrude G-52-3 is the perfect name for this mission. You just changed the name. What? The name. You just got it wrong. You can't even remember the name of your own mission, can you? Of course I can. It's Operation K-69. Not even close. Intrude 5123? This is just embarrassing. Intrude Q? Okay, Snake. This is a stealth operation. So don't let the enemy see you. Uh, what was that? I wasn't paying Oh, crap! Well, that went about as well as it could be expected. Hey boss, we might want to send in a plan C. I think I work's done here. Don't worry, Snake. Getting captured was part of the plan. He must be better than what we thought if you could infiltrate the cells that quickly. Yeah, infiltrate. The first agent we sent in, Gray Fox, should be being held in the cell next to you. Try punching through it. You really think that a prison wall is that weak? Well, we had a few cutbacks after Miller wasted funds on a supply of Hamburg. I mean, you know, it's worth a shot. Hot dang, I just punched through a wall. Also, I think my hand is powder. So you're the rookie agent they sent in after me. My name's Frank Yeager, but you may know me better as Gray Fox. Foxhound's greatest living legend. If you're not good, then how'd you get captured? Well, Outer, Outer Haven mercenaries are highly skilled. Even I, the unit's bestest agent, failed to their cunning. Really? Because they seem to forget about me completely if I leave their field of view. Also, they got no peripheral vision. It's kind of like they can only see in a straight line. Listen, I don't need to be lectured by the likes of you. I'm Grey Fox, the greatest agent ever. Don't you know what a fox stands for? A pretty small canine that mostly rummages from bins. I'm the best, damn it! And you better be nice to me, because I'll have you know I graduated the top of my class in the Navy uh, Seals, hell, and I've been involved in Did you just upset Frank? Al-Qaeda, and I have He's over very 300 sensitive. confirmed kills! Look, I'm sorry. You're the best, Fox. The greatest agent ever. I wish I could be as cool and handsome as you. Do you wish you were as well endowed as me too? <sighs> Snake, appease the man-child so we can move on. Yes, I wish my dick was as big as yours. Now can we please get back on topic? Do... Do you want my autograph? Yeah, sure. Just tell me what these clowns are planning. Well, you see, they have a nuclear weapon. One so awesomely powerful that it can plunge the world into chaos. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear! Why Metal Gear? I mean, it's probably made of metal. Sure, and it probably has gears inside it. I'm not so sure of that myself, Snake. It sounds like the ravings of a Dlonkin lotion for me. Not least specific. I would have gone with Gundam. Or Armsley. Or, or Gunman. Gunman. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just become best friend? Yep. Alright, guess I'll just in time and assume he survives like everyone else I come across. Not so fast, Snake! You're in my world now! The world of the Shotmaker! You must be pretty far down the food chain to be guarding this one room in the basement. Insolent whelp! You'll pay for making fun of me and my shotgun! I'd be way more scared of you if you weren't on the other side of the room right now. I think it's a close range weapon, you know. Silence! I don't need to go anywhere except for the left and to the right! So long as I have my trusty shotgun! You love that thing so much, why don't you just marry it? I already did, smarty pants! Of course, nobody came because I'm locked in the basement, but it's still a legally binding union as long as three rats are pleasant and the honeymoon! Uh, this line of conversation is going to a terrifying place, so let's change the subject. I have nothing to fear, so long as you don't have a remote control missile. That's it today for that! Welcome to my lair, Snake! I'm the Machine Gun Kid! Let me guess, you use a knife, right? No, actually, I use a machine gun! you can't do that! This thing solves way too many of my problems. Why can't these doors be labeled? I keep trying to get every key on- OH GOD THIS ROOM IS FILLED WITH GAS! Hey Snake, be careful. That room is filled with gas. Yeah, thanks for the update! I couldn't tell my lungs on fire! You need a gas mask. Schneider should know where to find one. Alright, so how do I call Schneider? On frequency. Huh. I don't know. Now see, it's weird this guy knows all the ice locations, but you don't know his number. 
Seriously, has anyone else noticed this in the Metal Gear game, or if I just kept missing his number every time? Because the only way I get to talk to him is at the very end, after you've got everything. Doesn't this bug anyone else who played it? Not so fast, Snake! Now you face the mighty Hein D! I notice you aren't flying. Well, I don't have a license to fly, but I can use this gun! Shit, it's empty. You know, I'm starting to wonder why I was ever scared of these guys. OH CRAP! AN ENDLESS SWARM OF MEN WITH JETPACKS! I REMEMBER WHY I WAS SCARED NOW! The cell's really hidden the way down here. Must be extremely important. Hey, is someone there? <sighs> Seems to be someone on the other side. Alright, stand back! I'm gonna blow the wall! What?! OH CRAP! ARE YOU OKAY?! <laughs> yeah, only kidding. I'm tied up in the middle of the room, you silly! Oh joy, more crazy people. I was hoping. Who were you supposed to be? Ellen Madna! My father, Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar, is being forced to make a Metal Gear! A walking nuclear! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know all this. Let's just take the pointless exposition for the sequels. Did my father send you to find me? Is he alright? Well... Ah, so you've come to rescue me! I am Madnar, the man responsible for the Metal Gear built here! You designed Metal Gear? Actually, I stole the designs from some guy with crazy hair in a wheelchair. <laughs> it is very easy. He couldn't get upstairs. I decided to cut out the decorator from the design, though. If you want to destroy Metal Gear, you'll have to play C4 on the legs in this order. Right, right, left, left, right. Wait, why in order? I'm pretty sure explosions don't have a preference for the work on the left or the right. You dare question my brilliant design? Did you say you stole it? My brilliant stolen design? Die, foxhound! Somebody I regret this decision! Well, he's not in the cell anymore. And alive? Yeah, let's go with it. We should probably get moving. But why? I like it here. Sure, I'm walled in so no one visits, and my only source of food is what rats I can catch with my teeth. But I've grown kinda attached to this cell. It's like family to me. And now I'm untied. I can really spruce this place up. It'll be like Tangle, except underground. You're going to fix that wall, right? And I'm just about done with this base and everyone in it. Phew. We're finally here at Metal Gear's hangar. There's a lot of crazy encounters we couldn't think of sketches for. What's with the boomerang guy anyway? Oh, I've got a boomerang! That is true. Snake, the mission is over. Turn off the YouTube player now! Wait, what? Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the mission while you finish whatever this is. I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with a tuning fork does a raw blink on Harakiri rock. I need scissors. 61. Sharp objects are literally the last thing you need right now. <laughs> so this is Metal Gear. I was expecting something lame like a giant computer. Would have been a real letdown if Metal Gear wasn't even in this. You finally made it, Snake. Now you face the leader of Outer Heaven. Big Boss! Yes, it is I, Big Boss. Wait, you knew? You weren't exactly subtle. That's why I found this guy who spilled the entire thing. Hey, do you know that Big Boss is the leader of Outer Heaven? Brought it out right then and there. Kind of anticlimactic, all things considered. So what's with that thing sticking out of your head? What do you mean? I've always had this. Pretty sure you haven't. Well, you're not getting past me. You were chosen for this mission because I knew a rookie like you would fail. But you outperformed my expectations. But this is the final battle, and it won't be going easy on you. You would need some kind of rocket launcher to even... Oh yeah, you do have that, huh? Probably should have been paying attention during the mission. Well, sh... Snake, are you there? Master, I'm alright. Uh, thank God. Who would have thought the big boss was behind us the whole time? Yeah, it sucks, but it's not like he was my father or anything, so I'm not too broken up about it. Well, let's hope we don't run into him again anytime soon. Yeah, that won't be a problem. I blew him up with a rocket launcher. No surviving that. I guess not. You'd need a pretty big wreck gun to explain that away. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Snake? You're coming back for me, right? You wouldn't leave old Grey Fox behind, right? Huh. Hello? Oh, this wouldn't happen if I was a cyborg. Right.
just moving. <laughs>